Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and we are up close and personal today because I'm finally going to be talking about the Ulta Beauty Complexion Crush Foundation. Yes, finally. Um, so I bought this right when it came out, like right when I saw it hit the website because I love Ulta Beauty, like I love their store brand a lot. And so far I've had a really good experience with their foundations. I think I might do a video on all of the foundations because I have I think all of them, um, and I like all of them so far. So I knew this one was gonna be good, like in my heart, I just knew it had to be good. Um, this is a medium coverage foundation. It also says it's buildable with a natural finish. Um, on the site, they say is a super blendable, lightweight foundation that feels and moves like a second skin. Ulta Beauty's Complexion Crush Foundation easily covers imperfections, blurs, skin texture, and even skin tone. Oh, and evens skin tone, not, yeah, anyway but still allows your natural beauty to shine through. This does have 4.3 out of 5 on, on their website, and it has a ton of really good reviews. It's one ounce of foundation, and it retails for $14. And I think that's a pretty good deal for a one ounce foundation. You know, that's a pretty average price, I think. Um, and I had originally got the shade Light Neutral, but it's too dark for me. And that's why I hadn't talked about it, because I thought every single day, I'm going to go take this back. I'm going to go exchange it. I'm going to go exchange it. And then I never did... And I ended up just buying a new one the other day. I got the shade Fair Neutral. And normally, Light Neutral is the shade I go for in, like, just in general with complexion products. But this one, for some reason, was too dark. So just a heads up, you might want to get a shade lower on the spectrum than you normally would. At least that's been my experience. So I'm going to use the shade Fair Neutral today. And normally this would be too light for me, but it seems to work pretty well. And at first I was mixing these together, but I don't really like the color that I get when I mix them. So we're just going to use this one. I wonder if it's too late to take this back. Probably. It's probably too late. It's fine. This is made in the United States. It's a vegan formula and the Ulta Beauty brand is cruelty free, which is great. So, so far I've had a really positive experience with this foundation. It's very creamy. Let's go ahead and put it on while I, while I talk about it. It's super duper creamy, like it's a really, really nice texture. It feels just like a really nice moisturizer, like you'd wanna just put it all over your entire face. It is slightly moisturizing, but I wouldn't use it as a tinted moisturizer. Actually, now that I said that, I also bought Ulta's tinted moisturizer the other day. Haven't tried it yet though. Um, anyway, it's very moisturizing. So if you have a uh, really dry skin, I think this would be a nice foundation for you. All right, let's see how I can do this. It is a buildable medium coverage. You do need to build it up. So it's not that high coverage right off the bat, which is what I thought it was going to be. And the first few times I used this, I think I used way too much because it was, it was just too much coverage for me and my preferences. And I think this is a pretty decent shade match actually, the, the fair neutral color. So there's one layer. I think it looks great. Um, like it covered up redness, it covered up the discoloration, but I can still see my skin through it. Like it doesn't look like I'm wearing a heavy foundation or anything. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use what's, rest, what's left on my hand. Uh, the only thing with having like a squeeze tube is you're gonna get a different amount every single time. So I would say get a tiny bit, like a little bit, put that on and you could always add more. But when you squeeze out too much, you're going to kind of waste it. But I get why they do stuff in a squeezy tube. You know, you don't have to get a pump and, you know, have a non-recyclable pump, I guess, on a product. But sometimes it kind of, it, you know, you're going to use too much, or at least I'm going to. So I'm going to put a little more on spots where I use, like I have more redness right here. I have that discoloration up here and just get some more coverage in those areas. There you go. And with this foundation, I don't wear concealer because as you can see, like this is concealer optional skin, but it looks like skin. Like I, I could see my skin through it. I can see little things here and there, but none of like the imperfections are showing. Like the redness is completely covered. All the discoloration is covered. Anything like that is taken care of. And I feel very, very good in this foundation as well. It actually reminds me quite a bit of the uh, number seven Restore and Renew Multi-Action Serum Foundation. I did do a review and demo of this as well. I'll link that in the description box in case you want to check it out. But I think these are so similar. This one also has um, some of the same claims. Like it says it's a second skin and it moves it with your skin. Um, and that was one of the big claims of the number seven one is that it becomes one with your skin. It's kind of a flexible formula. So it's not going to settle into any lines. 
Um, the complexion crush doesn't settle into any lines like my little smile line right here. If I get it too close over here like where I have smile lines, sometimes I see foundations kind of settling there but this one, I mean I'm not like putting foundation on my eyelids or on my under eyes, that's just not my preference. Uh, but I noticed this one even when I put it here, it doesn't like migrate to any lines, it doesn't settle into anything like that. That being said, I don't have a ton of lines on my face yet uh, that foundation can kind of gather in so I don't I couldn't tell you how that is gonna work for you if you have more mature skin but when I was reading the reviews there's a lot of reviews from people that say they have mature skin and that it works great for them um, this is a very moisturizing foundation like I said it also has a very dewy finish that I really like um, I do tend to set it with powder because sometimes like I don't want that super dewy look like it looks it looks great now, but if it's a hot day and my skin is sweating a little bit and it's going to add the, the the sweaty glow to my face, um, I don't also want the foundation to be dewy. So I, I will set a little bit of powder, and I think I will put some powder on this today just for my just for my day. But as a foundation, I think it's great. It looks good on the skin. It moves with your skin, so it doesn't settle into any of my lines. It wears all day for me if I set it with powder. I notice like if I'm eating or touching my face for some reason, just throughout the day, uh, maybe sweating, it will wear away gracefully, not completely disappear or anything like that. But I'll notice like on my upper lip, I sweat a lot there. And if I'm patting it off throughout the day, the foundation is going to eventually kind of disappear. But uh, it reapplies really well. I rarely touch up my makeup throughout the day. Like I'm not carrying all my products with me and like fixing it if it's because I don't really find that touching up works that well. Like if you're redoing concealer or something, I don't think it looks that good on top of really worn makeup. Like putting fresh makeup on top doesn't look that good. But I find this reapplies nicely. So if I did like dab sweat away from my upper lip or down here and the, the foundation's kind of gone, I get a tiny, tiny bit on my hand. I do get a damp sponge, and yes, I keep one in my locker at work for makeup emergencies. Um, I get the damp sponge, dab it in, and then kind of just, you know, dab it where you want it really lightly, and it will reapply really, really well. Um, I don't find it like completely disappearing or anything like that. Just some spots where I'm sweating or I'm like actively removing it from my face. This doesn't have any sunscreen in it, and it has no fragrance. It doesn't smell like anything. I really have nothing bad to say about, about this foundation. It's just the bomb. It's really good. Another home run foundation for Ulta. I think they always kill it with their complexion products. I liked every foundation I've tried so far. I like their concealers a lot. Um, I think they do a really great job. So if you're checking this out or you're interested in it, I think you're going to like it. If you like a moisturizing foundation, really nice coverage that looks great on the skin. If you've tried the Restore and Renew from number seven and you really liked it, you will like this. It's the same kind of finish, the same kind of wear time, the same look on the skin. Like, I think it looks great. I think it looks really, really good and concealer optional, but not heavy or mask-like. It's just great. I, I love this. If you have tried this, let me know what your experience has been. I would love to know if you love it like I do. Um, but that is it. I'm going to go finish this face so I don't have to walk around with no eyebrows on all day. Um, but that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you later in another video. Goodbye.